Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking K channel. I'm going to make a beef stew today. It will take a couple hours to make, but this dish is so tender, sweet, and spicy. It's definitely a dish everyone will crave for. And you can make it a day or two ahead of time. As it tastes better, the longer it sits. So let's get started. First peel off the skin of a turnip. Three carrots. And four potatoes. Chop them into large chunks. Don't forget to soak the potatoes in cold water to help remove excess starch. For garnish, dice up two spring onions. For the beef broth, dissolve one to two beef cubes in a bowl of hot boiling water. Cut up 1.2 kg of roasting beef into chunks. You can use bracing stick or top side. Silver side is really entirely up to you. To marinate the beef, add two tablespoonful of Korean gochujang chili paste. One tablespoonful of tomato paste. One tablespoonful of miso paste. One tablespoonful of cranberry sauce. Two tablespoonful of Worcester sauce. Two spoonful of light soy sauce. And one tablespoonful of dark soy sauce. Two tablespoonful of honey. and three tablespoonful of Chinese cooking wine, or you can use any other dry red wine. One tablespoonful of sesame oil, and two tablespoonful of corn flowers. Mix and combine all the ingredients together and let it sit and marinate it in the fridge for one to two hours. In a saucepan, add 3 tablespoonful of avocado oil. It can be any oil of your choice, of course. Brown the meat in a small batch, no matter what beef cut you choose. Browning it well is the key. You want each piece to get evenly colored. This is all about building flavor, and flavor starts here. In a large pan, add 3 tablespoonful of oil in medium heat. Add in the beef chunks, add 1 tablespoonful of minced garlic, one tablespoonful of ginger powder, four star anise, 3 bay leaves, 
Add in the beef broth. Bring it up to boil. Cover and simmer for an hour. Give it a stir occasionally in between. Add in carrots and tuna chunks. Bring it up to boil, cover it, and simmer for another 30 minutes. Then add in the potatoes, bring it up to boil again and simmer for another 30 minutes until half of the liquid has evaporated. The total cooking time is roughly 2 hours. Take out the bay leaves and the star anise before serving. In this stage, you can also season with salt and pepper. Garnish with spring onions before serving. Look at this. The meat is fork tender and enveloped in a deeply flavoured sauce. This ultimate beef stew is mixed with traditional Korean, Chinese and Japanese ingredients with a bit of Western techniques. It's something new and delicious, but different from any stew you've probably tasted before and definitely restaurant quality and you can make it easily at home. It keeps well in the fridge and actually gets better from sitting a couple days. Then all you need to do is reheat it up and serve. Hope you like my beef stew recipe and give it a try. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for more recipes. Thank you for watching.